What is up? I'm Pat. I like to make stuff. I was in a state championship marching band. And, well, I'll get to that in a second. But first, let me bring you back to the dawn of time. The year was 2014. 3D printing was a new and emerging technology, and every nerd and their mother was going, yeah, I know that thing already exists, but what if it was made out of plastic instead? So that is how we arrive here today, because I shall, from a slightly less than amateur perspective, show you how to make and play Oh my god, a 3D printed trumpet. Here's the thing, spoilers, this thing does not play the same as a regular trumpet. It is both harder and easier. And we'll get to that after the build. So, stick around and hit the like button. Thank you. What did I do? So you want a 3D print a trumpet, huh? Not gonna lie, dude, that's pretty weird. But hey, you're in good company. All right, in order to print this, you're gonna need to print out a few parts. Specifically, 19 parts. All of these are printed out in PLA. I printed out the tubular parts in Prusa's Azure Blue at 20% infill for the body, the valve casing and all that. I went with 22% infill in Ziltec uh, Yellow PLA. I think it makes a cool color contrast. So this feels really sturdy. I think we should be good. But first, we gotta clean up all these parts because these are fresh off of the printer and they still got supports and stringy bits on them. So let's take care of that. I just got like an assortment of compression springs from the hardware store. So hopefully those will work for us and I'll let you know how it goes. There's the model number and all that if you're curious. And I just have this spring here and what I do is it's not quite long enough, but the idea is to kind of stretch it out. This is how the spring came and I just stretched it out just a little bit, dropped in the first valve, slide that in. We can see it settles with two holes lined up perfectly. And then when we press it down, Let me get a measurement on that for you. You are gonna want your spring to be about, according to my estimation, about 25.3 millimeters. Oh, an inch. One point for America. Stretch out our other ones, or we cut them to length. Depends on what springs you wind up with. All right, they all seem to be working good. This piece slots on top here. It's clipped in from the side by this piece. We got working valves, very satisfying. All right, and then as for the assembly itself, pretty straightforward. All the pieces fit loosely. If you are using ABS, they can be fused together. I will be using five minute epoxy. I'm also going to lose all of the footage of me epoxying the trumpet together, but it's very straightforward, sorry. Okay, we have arrived at the final assembly. We'll pop in our springs. Now time for the valves. They all have these numbers on them and these fins on the side. So two equal big fins is valve two and then one and three have a shorter one to go on the inside. Got some good old fashioned petroleum jelly. This is what the designer of the model said to use to lubricate the valves. All right, he's got freaking jelly hands, man. All right, we got a trumpet. What do you say we test this thing out? <laughs> Dual wield. So here's the thing. As I was saying, this doesn't really play like a normal trumpet. The valves, you know, you can you can do stuff, but they're largely irrelevant. In a, a real trumpet, not not the same as this. Hang out. This is gonna sound terrible. I promise it gets better. It works. It doesn't work like it should. However, I have found that most of the control lies in uh, what what us nerds refer to as the embouchure, which to the layperson means you got weird strong lips. So playing this thing becomes more akin to like whistling. So if you want to print one of these for the looks, go for it. If you want to print it to play, I'd recommend like a bugle because I think it would have the same effect, but you can totally play anything on this trumpet without knowing how to play the trumpet. So what do you say? Let's get some song requests. Angie, can you give me song requests? So name a song. The royalty free hits. <laughs> Na name something a little harder. Say fly to the bumblebee. Ooh. I'm dying. 
<laughs> what do you think? Would you pay money to see this in concert? No. <laughs> All right, you can go. But I still love you. I love you too. Get out of here. All right, so if you want to make one of these yourself, it is fun. It looks cool. It works. People go, that's weird that that's made out of plastic. You know, it's the whole package. Speaking of fun and weird, if you have any ideas for projects that you want to see me try to tackle, I'd love to hear them. Leave a comment. Like comments if you like that idea. You know how YouTube works. I don't. And also hit the subscribe button and, and ring the... All right, well. And check out the description. I got links to all relevant stuff down there. And I got a Patreon, so you know, help me live my dreams, please. Okay, if you liked this video, I think you will really like this video. And that's all I got. See you next time. Love you. Bye.